Hi there, Victor with Prudential here, and we're going to talk a little bit about first-time buyers today. Now, in 2009, the federal government allowed for $8,000 of a tax credit to go to all first-time buyers who purchase and close escrow before December of 2009. So you can imagine, there's a lot of first-time buyers out there picking up these deals. I know it's 2009, but I gotta say, with the first-time buyers out there, it's rabid. It feels like 2005 all over again, except for the prices are cut in half. So people ask me, Victor, what's the process? What's the first step to buying my first home? Well, here it is. Contact me, www.victor4homes.com, or you can go ahead and find me on Facebook or Twitter. So contact me, we'll set an appointment and talk about these steps in detail. The second step is contact your loan officer. Walk into your local bank, credit union, online bank, whomever, it doesn't matter to me as long as you're comfortable with them. Go ahead and get yourself a pre-approval letter. The pre-approval letter will let you know how much you're actually qualified for to purchase a home. Once we have that pre-approval letter, you tell me what city, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, and what specific amenities you have to have in your home. As long as it's in your price range, I can find it. And once we find it, we go ahead and take a look. We take tours of the property, and if you really fall in love with something, we write an offer on it. That's the next step, we write the offer. We write a strong offer to compete with these other first-time buyers out there to make sure that you get into escrow. Mm -hmm. And uh, once we get into escrow, your loan officer kicks into high gear. He'll order the appraisal report, He'll start the underwriting process for you. And while he's doing all that in the background, you and I are gonna spend a little bit of time with a professional home inspector, making sure that the home we're trying to purchase is in good condition. Now, we have 17 days to get all of our inspections done and to make sure that our loan officer can get us the loan that he says he can. If not, we should back out to make sure that we protect your deposit money and keep looking for other property, okay? But if everything's all good and we move forward in escrow and we got the loan and the inspection came back fine and dandy, what the next step is, is for the loan officer to fund the loan. That means that the money comes from the lending institution, gets forwarded to the escrow company, then gets forwarded to the seller who and then lets us record a new deed with your name on it. After that, I give you your keys to your brand new home and we're all done. It's simple as that. Now, some people sometimes have bad experiences, but my job is to make sure that you have a smooth and easy transaction. I try to give you all the information you need to make the best decision for you and your family, and I'd love to work with you. If you have any more questions or you'd like to get in contact with me, www.victorforhomes.com is the website, or twitter.com slash Thanks a lot, and see you next time. Take care.